Hello again YouTube, my name is Nick, and today I'll be discussing uh, how to play Fantasy Star Online Episode 1 and 2 on the original Xbox using Insignia's uh, revival of the original Xbox servers. So it's not as simple as you think as just putting in the disc and having it work because um, you have to do one minor step on Insignia's website before you can start to play the game. Another thing of note is that uh, you have to either own a physical copy of the game or you have to have a hard disk drive backup that maybe you ripped many years ago or you somehow got in possession of in ways that I will not describe or explain how to do. But anyhow, without further ado, I will get onto my computer and I will show you what to do on the Insignia website itself. So once you boot up your computer or your mobile phone and you access Insignia's webpage, which this is what it looks like by the way, uh, you're going to want to click here and log in or tap if you're on a mobile device. And you're going to want to sign in with the email and password that you have created for your Insignia account. Uh, the way you would set up your password would be uh, once you received your uh, subscription code, you would then uh, be given an email to set up your password. So there's like no specific password that they give you, it, you'd have to set it yourself. But once you sign in, uh, you'll see your gamer tag up here in the corner. Uh, you wanna click it, you wanna go to dashboard, and then there's a tab right here that says Fantasy Star Online. Once you click it, uh, it'll give you a few options. Uh, I already set my server before, so when you look at this for the first time, it's going to say none. Uh, I would recommend, there's two server options here for playing Fantasy Star Online. I'd recommend uh, playing on Shithack because um, there's just more custom missions. You can play the base game as well online with your friends. And um, you can even have custom drops. And um, yeah, there just seems to be more people who play on it. And it's pretty good. So I'm going to pick Shithack just for this demonstration. And you click save. And you're good to go. Uh, once you, you can close out of this window, then you can uh, go back to your Xbox, boot up the game, and after you create a character, everything should work. So once you're back on your Xbox, all you gotta do is load the game. So I'm gonna load my disc copy of Fantasy Star Online. And then we just wait for the game to load. And then I'll show you what to do next. So once the game loads, uh, you can pick your save data if you have some, but this is obviously assuming you haven't played yet, so I'm going to make a new save. Uh, so I'll just do it with my main gamer tag, And we'll just... Yeah, so we're going to do online, because obviously that's the point of this video. So I'll create a new character. I'll just be safe, I'm going to put in a third, just in case. So it'll come up with the character customization, and there's three classes that you can work with. Oh, there's a cutscene. I can skip it. Okay, so there's three character classes you can work with. There's, uh, as you can see on the left, Hunter, Ranger, or Force. Uh, as far as my understanding is, uh, Hunter is basically proficiency in melee weapons. Uh, Ranger allows you to use guns, and Force, I believe, is like magic. Um, so I think that can be like healing, and like spell casting. I haven't personally played the Force class because I'm just not that into, like I haven't played Fantasy Star Online that much, so I don't know too much about it, but if you're starting out new, I'd recommend either picking Ranger or Hunter uh, to start out. Uh, I'll pick Ranger just for the sake of the video. 
For now, it doesn't really matter what I look like. I'll just uh, say okay. Oops. Uh, just say okay. And create my character. So now you just have to hit agree. And after a few moments, it should connect you to uh, the shithack server. If you get any errors at this point in time, it either means if you're playing a, um, a backup copy of the disc, it either means that you have a bad rip of the game, or it means you cannot connect to Xbox Live uh, itself, or rather Insignia. So, if you see this screen where you see the shitheck terms for Xbox, then you're good to go. Uh, so you're going to want to pick the first setting, uh, TL slash GameCube slash Xbox. And that will basically allow you to connect to the server because there's various different servers. But this is the main server that you can play on. So you can read this prompt if you want. It appears every time you start the game. But in essence, uh, that's basically it. You're in the game. So you can create your own team to play with friends and choose the episode. Uh, do I have to give a name? Yeah, okay, so you have to give a name. I'm just going to say A. Sure, A, 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 whatever. Ah, okay. So that's my team name. I'm not going to put a password just because I'm quick, quickly demonstrating how this works. So you create a team and then you have to select a mission. So once it loads, you'll be in this hub, this hub world. And to start the game, you have to talk to this lady over here. And then these are all the missions you could do. So all these things right here are all um, custom events or custom missions. If you want to play the regular game first, uh, you want to select either episode one or episode two uh, from these two options here. So I'll just pick episode one and start with this one. You give it a second to load. This guy will narrate a bunch of dialogue. And for some reason there's a five second or five minute timer on the, my recording because to record in this high quality, I don't know why it limits me. But anyways, so after Tyrell, uh, that's his name, Principal Tyrell, after he talks, um, just let it go. Uh, you want to just talk to her quickly. She'll say a bunch of stuff. I spammed A too many times. Okay, come on. Alright, so to actually start playing the game, you have to go down this elevator over here. You press A. And to actually get into the world, you want to go through these big doors over here. And then you press A to teleport to Forest 1. So, as you can see, I got my gun. Just a quick uh, demonstration of what you can do to attack. You press A for a light attack. And if you press X, it'll do more damage. But you, uh, you shoot slower. And the reason why this matters is because the way you attack in this game is you can't just keep spamming A, because it doesn't work. As you can see, I'm spamming it. It doesn't uh, consistently shoot. The way how you shoot in this game is you have to actually time it. So you want to go like A, A, A. You have to kind of shoot like that in a pattern so that um, it doesn't restrict you. I don't know why they have it like that, but that's just how it works. So with the gun, you can target from a distance. And if you press A or X with the right timing, it'll allow you to shoot multiple times. Uh, you don't have to actually aim. It kind of automatically locks on. You'll see by those green arrows that kind of pop around the enemies. One recommendation I'd make is uh, playing this with friends because you'll definitely level up a lot faster. When I first played this game on my own, uh, it took me, I think, 18 or 19-ish hours to get to level 20 on my own. 
and uh, it took a lot of dying and a lot of learning on my own. But anyhow, that's kind of the general gist of how you play. There you go, I took out some enemies, or at least one anyway. The gun is, I think, superior to the blade because you can get range on them. Whereas with the blade, you're definitely going to get hit and take more damage. But uh, if you just want to start out, uh, like I said, either the gun or the blade is a good class option to start. If the camera ever goes like in the wrong way, you can just um, readjust it by pressing uh, left trigger to pan it behind you. So in essence, that's the game. You just uh, clear rooms full of enemies and you progress to the end of the level. Well, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed.